All right. Uh, I'm going to talk about ba um, Balaam and his talking donkey right now. This is another weird, very strange story. So, uh, Balaam is basically... He's basically like a... He's a prophet, but he also does magic. And right now, he, like, before this, like, he's kind of teetering on, like, doing bad stuff, okay? But he's still a prophet of the Lord. But, uh... He ends up being bad, but anyway, uh, so, um, the king, a king of the Moabs, they asked, he asked Balaam, uh, to, uh, curse the Israelites on their travels, okay? And, God, so yeah, uh, Balak went to go ask God if that was okay, and God's like, no, it's not okay. And then, but, then they went, he went back to the king and said, I can't do it, God said no. And the king said, um, well, I'm going to give you, he kept giving him more money, basically. Kept giving him more wealth. And so Balaam, Balaam kept going back to God saying, come on, man, he's going to give me a bunch of money. Can I do it? Can I do it? And then God just, just said, okay. But that doesn't mean he really said yes. He was just like, he, he's going to do it anyway. There's a message in that. If you're determined to stick, stick with your sin, you've, you're determined to stick with your sin and not repent and He's not going to interfere with your free will, guys, if you just keep ignoring it, right? If you just, you know you're supposed, you know what your sin is. Stop asking if it's okay to do it. You know what I mean? He's going to let you do it. He's not going to stop you. You know you're not supposed to do it. It's the point. So anyway, he can only say no so many times, right? And then you're just going to do what you want. He's going to let you. He's not going to stop you if I want. If I get up right now and kill a bunch of people, he's not going to stop me. He, he knows that. I know it's bad. He knows. He, like, do I even have to say? Do I even have, do I even have to say that not to do that? <laughs> like, like, really? He's, he's like, you know, you're not supposed to do it, but just go ahead, man. You're gonna, you're gonna do it, right? So Balaam, uh, he goes back. He's gonna go to the king, all right. And what happened was, um, so God's not happy with him, but like, he's just like, you're gonna do it anyway, um. Because he, he doesn't, he, God doesn't really interfere, interfere with our free will, guys. Because we should already be knowing, okay? We should know what's good and bad. We should be reading the Bible. And if you don't know, then you, you're you still going to, he's still going to punish you. You're still going to go down there, okay? Your ignorance isn't going to save you. Anyway. um, So, <clears throat> Balaam, um, he gets on his donkey to go talk to the king. The Moab king again. Okay? <laughs> and what happens was, the angel of the Lord is going to go kill... Balaam, because he doesn't want, he, he doesn't, you know, I mean, he's going to, angel of the Lord is going to go kill Balaam. But Balaam can't see the angel, but the donkey can. Okay? The donkey can see the angel, and so the donkey keeps trying to run away from the angel, because it's, it's, they're like, this thing is going to kill us, dude. Let's get away from this thing. This thing is, is going to kill us. We have to go away. We have to run. Uh, but Balaam keeps beating the donkey, because he can't see it. He can't see the danger in front of him. Okay? And the donkey talks to him. And he's like, come on, why are you beating me? I'm trying to save us, man. There's a meaning in that. What's the meaning? The meaning is, um, like, just because, like, people don't see. They don't see it. They don't see the Bible. They don't see what they're doing wrong. And they get mad when you try to save them. When you try to correct them. That's the meaning in this. Like, I could scream. I can, like, tell people all day not to, like, smoke weed. Like, right? Like, look at the Bible, man. You can't do it. You can't do it. Uh, and they get mad. Like, I can do it. Like, you know what I mean? And you're just trying to help them. Like, um, I know a lot of people are probably mad at me when I talk about the Bible. They're like, or like, um, there's people from different religions. Like, I'm not trying to make you mad. I'm trying to save you guys. And you get mad at me back because I'm trying to, like, you know, like, I'm trying to save you. You don't understand. I'm, you don't see with the danger ahead of you. I see it, guys. I know that there's a hell. I'm trying to save everyone. I'm not trying to hurt you guys. I'm trying to save you guys. You don't see it. You don't see what's in front of us. What's in front of you. I'm trying to help you. Like, get away from the danger, okay? And you're going to you're gonna get mad and lash out at me, but I'm trying to help you. That's the message in this, okay? So, anyway. So, Balaam... Basically, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, but then he's not sorry because he still goes and goes to the king and gets his money to curse the Israelites. Okay? Or try to curse the Israelites. It doesn't work. But anyway, so 
So uh, there's a message in that. Just because you say you're sorry and go do it anyway, it's still a sin. It's don't, that's a, you're lying. Okay, you're not really trying to give up your, don't say out loud that you're sorry and then go do it. Immediate later, okay? God knows. He knows when you're really sorry and when you're not. Just because you say it out loud doesn't mean you mean it, okay? So what happens was he tries to curse the Israelites. It doesn't work. And uh, basically the king gets mad at him and God's mad at him. He gets nothing. He didn't get the money and God cursed him. And he ended up being really bad, okay? And he ended up trying to like, he just ended up really rotten, a really rotten guy. He was teetering on the, just for money. He didn't even get the money. You know what I mean? There's a message in that. Um, he uh, he got what well, he tried to do. Just he tried to just like have a bunch of women sleep with the Israelites and try to deceive them later. Okay, but uh, he messed up, man. He was like he, at first. It's, it, this is a message too. You can start off being a, like someone for God and just lose your way, and you're before you know it, you're working for the enemy. You know what I mean? And it all starts with money too. The love of money, right? He wanted the money, so. He, he turned, he he was teetering, and he just fell. All right? That's the message in this, I think. Um, all right. I also wanted to add, um, so uh, <laughs> this is a good example of how God uses <laughs> different things to get a message across. Like, you know what I mean? Like your talking donkey, ta the burning bush, talking bush, the talking snake. Uh, it's weird, right? But the talking donkey, that, that one's pretty good. Sometimes God uses a donkey. That's kind of funny, right? Uh, Alright, uh, yeah, just, <laughs> God uses funny things sometimes, alright? He uses the most unlikely characters is the kind of message I wanted to say. Alright.